The sea turns red with blood during a controversial Faroese tradition that's been around for centuries. Known as the Grind, whales and dolphins are killed and their meat distributed for consumption among locals. But the scale of this killing has shocked locals and also drawn criticism from groups that support the tradition. 1,428 dolphins were herded into shallow waters by speedboats and jet skis where they were hacked to death with knives. Uh, there's, there's dolphins there that have propeller marks all the way up their body. And I'm not talking marks in their skin. I'm talking deep cuts into their flesh. You can see the organs through the skin. Um, you know, and, and who knows how long that had, they had to suffer before they got killed eventually. The government of the Faroe Islands, which is part of the Kingdom of Denmark, says only about 600 pilot whales are caught each year on average. And white-sided dolphins are caught in much lower numbers, just 35 last year and 10 in 2019. Oliver Swaterberg, chairman of the Faroese Pilot Whale Hunt Association, says his hunters believe the pod was only about 200, not 1,400. Other local grinding associations say they are appalled by what's happened and the killings have destroyed all the work we have done to preserve the practice. International conservation groups are outraged. These dolphins are the same dolphins that people around the world, uh, you know, would love to meet in the in the wild. Never mind a, a pod of this size. And you know, in the in the Faroe Islands, you know, they're now being seen as welcoming these dolphins with knives and, and hooks. Recent polls show that more than 50 percent of the people on the Faroe Islands are opposed to the mass slaughter of dolphins but 80% still support the killing of pilot whales. But the outcry over this massacre could make locals rethink their age-old tradition. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TRT World.